But wow, tonight the fireworks are everywhere. They're still going. Yeah, I can hear them outside <laughs> the door. Crazy out mm -hmm. there right now. Beautiful temperatures, though. I mean, this time of year, we could be deep into the 100s. We will eventually get there, but not for today. Highs reaching the low to mid uh, 90s throughout the valley. 88 for Fairfield, right about 90, 93 degrees for Auburn, Placerville, and Jackson. 80s up top for the Sierra, where we had far less thunderstorms. Great news there. We really needed a break with all the thunderstorm activity we've been seeing recently. Recently and some of those fire starts from lightning. 65 degrees right now in Sacramento as we look out in the Gilmore backyard. Some pretty quiet winds only at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. 69 for Stockton. We're at 72 for Modesto, 76 for Marysville and 59 degrees with clear skies for Tahoe. It's a chilly night up there for the high country. Air quality poor right now. Very unhealthy air. It's just with all the fireworks going off, especially some of those that are lower to the ground, things are really uh, pretty thick as far as our very unhealthy air. It will improve, though, by tomorrow. We're back to the good to moderate range, and the uh, light breeze is going to certainly help to clear things out. Turning to the tropics right now, this is Tropical Storm Elsa, and we are watching this closely. Right now, moving over Cuba, winds at 65 miles per hour, moving to the northwest at 15 miles per hour. Now, this is going to stay tropical storm strength, 65 mile per our winds overnight tonight as it starts to move closer to uh, the U.S. You can see it's going to have winds at about 60 miles per hour may make landfall. It looks like right now on the west coast of Florida travel through parts of the panhandle central uh, Florida and then up through Georgia and South Carolina. It will become a tropical storm Elsa at 40 mile per hour winds by the time we get to Wednesday, but certainly a storm to watch with every all the recovery efforts there in Miami with a condo. All right, here's a look at our satellite for tomorrow and you can see a little bit of delta intrusion, low cloudiness moving through the valley. Have been seeing that for the past couple of days. Nice little onshore flow. The key factor here, though, is we're not seeing much in the way of thunderstorms develop tomorrow afternoon for the Sierra. If we do, it's going to be, it looks like, east of the crest and uh, much less active weather for us over the next couple of days for the Sierra. Then <laughs> we're right back to it. High temperatures will be in the 100s, and we're talking between 105 and 110 by the time we get to the upcoming weekend. So we're going to kind of play that out here. In the meantime, highs for tomorrow. If you're wrapping up that last day of the holiday weekend, we're in the 80s for the Sierra, 90s for the foothills. Getting a little warm there for Ione, 97 degrees. Quincy, we're up to 96, some of the hot spots there, 94 for Auburn. Our five-day forecast, we're going to keep it dry until we get to Friday. Then we bring back the risk of thunderstorms, and it looks like we could see occasional pops of thunderstorms through the upcoming weekend weekend as well. 60s along the coast were close to 90 for Fairfield and Antioch and we'll see those 90s as well through the northern San Joaquin Valley. But that after starting off with morning lows in the 50s, nice cool crisp start to the day at a fairly mild afternoon considering where we could be this time of year because that's where we are headed. <laughs> where we could be this time of year in the 100s by Saturday and Sunday and again Kurt we're talking 105, 110, talking potentially some record highs in there.